Hello? Hello, I recently called for you to call back from one of my numbers. <laughs> uh, I said which is phone call yet. Hello? I gave you my number to call, my phone's 1%. It's better to die any second, I need to talk about something. Please call my friend's phone number. Is that okay? Which phone, uh, which phone number? 0402 232 Yeah, this is your number, right? No, no, no. 278. Different number. My friend's number. Surely he buys it. Please. Can you just check it out again? 04? 0402 Oh, they struggle so much. 232 278 278 Sorry? Did you get that? Yeah, got I, that? I got the number, but how may I help you, sir? Oh, please call it back. It's, my phone's 1%. Please call it back ASAP. Did you get the number? Can you please read it back to me? Please, please just call it back and I'll discuss it. I can't hear you, hang on. Are you staying with us or...? Yeah, just please call me back so I can discuss it. Please. And what is the person's name? Steven. Steven? Yep. Are you currently in-house or are you somewhere else now at the moment? Listen, sorry, sorry, sorry to rush it, but it's pretty important. Can I just confirm you got the right number? So you want me to call this guy, is it? Yeah, Stephen. He's, he's staying in the house with me. In the, in the hotel. But, um, may you please repeat the number so I confirm you got it correct? 0402-32378. Yes. 278, sorry, not 378. It's 378 or 278? 278. 378, right? 278. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> My name is Jimmy. Or James. Jimmy. And what is it regarding that you're calling for? Oh, please. Uh, it's something to do with uh, a hotel. Could you repeat that, please? Something to do with our... Oh, no, my friend's gone for it. It's really cool, isn't it? That's smart. Oh, again, they call me back, the Indians. Shut up, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yes, yeah. speaking. Uh, Jimmy, firstly, I would like to uh, just uh, have a few questions for you. Sure. We don't have anybody called Steven staying with us in house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he saying? Uh, I don't know whose apartment it is. I'm saying it a friend's apartment. Or house, whatever. Uh, but, um, Steven needs to talk to you. Regarding the apartment. I I'm just a friend of a friend. Steven's properly staying there. It's not, it's not under his name. Just please call him, he can discuss to you. It's, it's just a phone number. Just please, do me a favor. Okay, thank you. A try is just what I can ask for, and that's great. A try is great for me. As long as you give it a try, I'll be happy. I cannot complain if you give it a try. <laughs> Steven, honestly, I don't really, I'm not really completely acclimated to straight. Steven, I have the ability to drop up like the misrepresent him. I'm just calling on behalf of him. Ah, uh, thanks, man. That's it. Fucking. Oh my god, they're calling me. Oh, Indigo. Yeah, let's call him. Hello? Hello? James is doing business calls. Yes, speaking. I am going to call you. Oh, come. Oh. Uh, classic Steven. Fair enough, mate. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I have no idea what the call about. 
No, no, look, he tried to <laughs> Why is he such a pink? <laughs> look, he's done some <laughs> things in the it's disgusting to be honest, frankly. Um, thank you for your help. Do you have any sneaker bars by any chance? Do you know what they are? Do you know what sneaker bars are by any chance? Yeah, a little bit. He has no respect, man. Yeah, you know, it would be nice if he told you, but it's just very rude. You know? <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, it's because they're so sincere. Yeah, I know. He doesn't really like answering. <laughs> they're really trying like, to help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he trying to help so badly? <laughs> Look, man, you've done your best, alright? You've done a very good job today. I'm sorry, Steve, you didn't answer. I'm sorry I broke your balls, but. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry I wasted your time, sir. Thank you for the help. Ask if he likes, well, prune job motors. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait, James. Cool, Give cool, me that number. cool. Alright, is it cool back? <laughs> Hello, this is Steve. Um, I think Jimmy's been trying to get you in touch with me. <laughs> oh, thank God. How's it going? <laughs> that's that's alright. I've been waiting a long time to hear from you. I've heard a lot of good things about you. <laughs> I know a lot of good things about you. Jimmy told me you, like, uh, you're... Jimmy put in a good word for you. <laughs> well, I've got a business proposition. Pretty close to the mic, Andrew. I've got a business proposition for you. What was your name again? Rogoff. Kevin. Kevin G. Beautiful Kevin. Name. My favourite name. I might start calling you Kenneth Junior. Kenneth Senior maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But uh how would you like uh to partake in a business opportunity with me? <laughs> uh just you and Steve, just Kenneth and Steve making some money. Don't have to tell anyone about it. Keep it between us. <laughs> Pardon? Excuse me, Kenneth? Excuse me, Kenneth? <laughs> Can you please repeat Kenneth? that? I'm not gonna help you with that. Well, see, <laughs> you're in a position uh, to help me right now. You see, you're on the inside, okay? I need someone on the inside to help me. Uh, look, it's pretty hard to talk about on the phone. Um, uh, look, Kenneth, <laughs> let's be frank here. Do you want to make some money, or, like, or, or are you happy with what you're getting paid right now? Because I, I reckon I can make you a lot more money, and you'd have to, you wouldn't have to do as much, for sure. You sure? Because uh, if you want, we can meet at the location. You sure? I'll wait for you outside work if you want, when you knock off. You just give me your time. We'll talk about it. Pardon? You sure? How does $10,000 a week sound to you? Are you sure? Kenneth, once in a lifetime opportunity, uh, you've got to take the opportunities while they're in front of you. Yeah. I'm just offering you a job at my bakery. I've got a bakery. Alright, uh, well, I thought I'd offer, but look, thanks for calling me back. This was Steve. Uh, Alright, if you ever want to give me a call back, just call me, say, hey, can I speak to Steve? Go straight through. Alright, take it easy, Kenneth. Nice to meet you. Uh, I might get in trouble. Wait, should I call him back and be like, Hey, so did you speak to Steve? 
Oh, what a great guy. Or should I come back? Yeah, like, keep it going. Hey, man, uh, I'm sorry, but Steve didn't get your phone call. Cool. He's actually available now. Like, oh, Steve just called me. I'm like, Steve just called you? That's impossible. How did Steve like call might, you? I feel like he might report me to the police. <laughs> should I call him? I'll back. come back. Can we call back and say it was a prank call? <laughs> So I don't go to jail. No, no, I'm playing along with it. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't threaten him. He's, he he told me the calls. He said, "You know the calls recorded, right?" <laughs> That's not a good sign. Hello. Hello. Um, I spoke to Steve. He hasn't received any phone calls, and he's uh wishing to contact with you. Wait, Steve called you. Steve can't. Steve hasn't got your number. Sorry? Steve hasn't got your number. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, man, but I don't know how Steve called you. He hasn't got your number. Oh, so, yeah. Alright, that's confusing. Alright, um, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong here. I'm just they, trying to get some help. Steve told you about the bakery. Did Steve tell you about the bakery? The bakery, yeah. Biz Steven. Steven really? I I he has to be a number. So, I haven't seen him. Yes. I will say don't call me anymore. Okay. Otherwise I'm gonna have to report the police. Okay, I'm um, sorry for this. Yeah, say the uh, sorry for the situation, yeah. Tell him it was a joke. Tell him it was a joke. Alright, Okay, bye.